Hi, this is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about increment or decrement operators, also called unary operators. So these are very popular because most of the times we use in for loops, etc. So we'll be using these operators. So let's try to understand more in detail about this as this is very important. Now these operators, we have primarily two things. One is plus plus and minus minus. So plus plus is called increment and minus minus is called decrement. Now, when you write plus plus after the oper operand, we call it as post increment. When you write plus plus before the operand, we call it as pre increment. And similarly, when you write minus minus after the operand, we call it as post decrement. And here we call it as pre decrement. So we'll try to understand more details of all these uh, post increment pre-increment, post-decrement, and pre-decrement in Eclipse IDE so that you'll get some good idea. So let's get started in Eclipse IDE. Let's see how this works. Now let me open Eclipse IDE that we have and I uh, have this lesson six uh, project. So let's try to see very quickly, we'll create um, the project for lesson 10 that we are learning now. So I'll just close this project. So we already learned it. So right click on the project explorer and right click on the project and close the project. So we just closed it. And very quickly, I'll be doing file new Java project, file new. And in ca I, I see here Java project in case if you're not seeing Java project here. So you have to go to other and select here Java project and click next. And give the project name as lesson 10 project. And as usual, it's getting saved in my uh, default workspace that I selected. And um, I will click on next. And I don't want to create module info.java and check this option and click on finish. Now, I just created this uh, lesson 10 uh, project. So, and then SRC. And the first thing that we have to do is we need to add a package. So right click on this new package. And I'm writing here lesson 10 package and click finish. The next thing that we need is we need to add a class here. Right click on this new class and I'll be writing here um, lesson 10. Now I want to create a main method. So I'll be checking this option checkbox, click finish. Now, first thing that we do is I'll just reorganize the flower brackets, which uh, every time we used to do and click on this and delete here and click on this here and delete the space. So with this, we'll start with what is increment or decrement operators. Let's try to understand. Now, first when I write int a is equal to five, and I need to write, let's take int b is equal to, I will be writing here a plus plus. Now, since I'm writing plus plus after this operand, a, so this is called post, post increment. Because my plus plus is after this a, so post increment, I repeat. So when you write plus plus after plus plus is called increment, when you write plus plus after this operand, we call it as post increment. Now let me explain how this post increment works. Let's see this. Let me zoom this, or let me increase the font size, Control Shift plus plus. So I just increase the font size, and let me pull this output windows a little bit down. Now let's try to understand how it really works. Now, now how it actually works is, when you write a, currently a value is five. So here you can see a value is five initially, we assigned it. Now, when you write a plus plus, first, whatever value of a is there, that will assign to b. And then a value gets incremented. A lot of uh, uh, times when you're learning Java, associates feel confused when you're learning this operators. And this is really easy to understand. Let me try to explain this. First, whatever value is there, it will be assigned to b. And then a value gets incremented to 6. So that's why this is called post increment. First, the value of a, whichever is there, it's assigned to b, and then a value gets incremented. So after this statement, if you print the values of a and b here, a value, since it after assigning this to b, a value got incremented, so a becomes 6. And b value, since it's assigned before a value got increased, so b value will be 5 here, because before it gets incremented, it assigned the value to b, so b value is 5. And since a value got increased, a value will be 6. Now let's try to print this. I'll just write here SYSO control space. And I want to print A first. And then SYSO control space. And I want to print B. 
Now let's see what will be the output for this code. So let's run the code now and click OK. And you can see here the value has 6 and 5. Now, now what happened here? Let me tell once again. This is called post increment. The value of A first gets assigned to B and then A value gets incremented. So here, before it got increased since it got assigned to B, so B value is 5 here. And after assigning the value to B, A value got incremented. So the A value is 6 here. So it's printing 6, 5. Now, now let me try to explain plus plus A. Now when you write here plus plus A, so this is called pre-increment. Now I repeat, this is called pre-increment. So first it increases the A value. That's why it's called pre-increment. First, whatever A value is there, it increases the A value by 1 and then it assigns to B. So in this case, first since it just increased the A value first, so A value becomes 6 and then A value is assigned to B. So that's why first A value got incremented, so it is 6 and then it got assigned to B, so B value is also 6. So in case of pre-increment, first got increased to 6 and then it is assigned to B, so both the values are 6 and 6. Now let's run the code and let's see what's output here. Now you can see here, so the value is 6 and 6. Okay, now we'll talk about pre uh, post decrement here. Now let me write here a minus minus. Now let's try to understand this is called post decrement. So this is called post decrement. First, whatever value is there for a, it will be assigned to b. So b value will be 5 and then a value gets reduced. So a value becomes 4. So that's why this is called post decrement. Whatever A value is there, that will be assigned to B. So B value in this case will be 5. And then A value gets reduced and A value becomes 4. That's why this is called post decrement. Now let's run the code and let's see whether we get 4, 5 as output. Now I click OK. And now you can see here it's showing 4, 5 as output. And the last one we have is minus minus A. And as we know, this is called pre decrement. Now first, it will decrease the value of A and then it will assign to B. So first, since it will decrease the value of A, so A becomes 4 and then the value of A will be assigned to B. So B also will be 4. So this is called pre-decrement. Now let's run the code and let's see what will be the output now. Click OK and you'll see here for 4. So everyone needs to be very, very clear with this increment and decrement operators because we will be using very frequently and also in case uh, um, we'll be using very frequently these operators and also in case if you're attending some interviews or something, uh, you'll find a question on this. So this is really important. So please practice with different values and try to understand this. Pre-increment, post-increment, pre-decrement and post-decrement, all of you should be very, very clear. So I hope you're clear with this. In the next module, we'll talk about assignment operators. So thank you, and I hope this is clear. See you in the next module.